To do tshuva, it's something that it means to confront who that you are, to stand in front of yourself. This is why every step in the tshuva is harder than the, than the one before, than the step before. Because in every step, you're standing in that place that you have to take a decision again, to be brave again, to choose, I want to be who that I am. I'm choosing to connect myself, to commit myself to my real being, to who that I am. It means to confront all of my fears, to fight with all of my laziness, with all of my fears, with all of my angers, with all of my sadnesses, with all of my frustrations, with all of my craziness, with all of my madness, with all of the demons that's been created through my life journey. And every time that you take a decision, all of those forces are coming again to attack that person. And if they see that he is choosing that again and again, so they start to scare it for their own life because they take their life from, from your joy, from your purity. Because they cannot stand by themselves, all of those husks, all of those fears. What they can threat you about on, on what? To say what? You're going to lose the world to come. You will not going to be righteous. You will fail from having a success. And they're leaning on, on your beauty. They're counting on you're going to lose what, the, what that you have. What, the, what they're threatening. What they can tell you. This is why only when you become to be so crazy, like Abenu is saying in Torah 155, that you don't care about nothing, that you couldn't care less about losing your world to come, losing your Torah, losing your peot, losing your beard, losing your family. You you, you're standing in front of the cliff and you say, you know what? No one's going to push me. I'm jumping. <laughs>